What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today we're going to talk about uh, number 3, Hail Cicada King, Locust King. So evidently this is one of the cards that's been revealed in the anime, I think it was like the last episode, or, or the episode before the last one, or something like that. Anyway, it is another number card, of course, number 3. Uh, so yeah, I guess maybe eventually we'll know what number 1 is, or at least 2, hopefully pretty soon, because we also know what number 4 is, and we'll have the video on that pretty soon as well. So yeah, uh, of course it's the anime version of the card, we don't know when this is going to be printed to an actual card or what the effect is going to be so basically we're just going to talk about the anime effect and stuff so yeah uh, first off it is wind insect uh, rank 3 it requires three level 3 monsters to exceed summon into it and of course here's its effect it cannot be destroyed by battle except with a number of monsters during either player's turn when a monster effect is activated on your opponent's side of the field you can detach one XC material from this card negate that effect if and if you do uh, this card gains uh, 500 defense it has 1200 attack 2,500 defense. So yeah, it's more of a defensive number card, of course. Uh, uh, one of those that might be a little bit more of a pain to bring out, uh, being three level three monsters. If it would have been two level three, it'd be a lot easier because I, that's probably the easiest or one of the easiest types of XC monsters to bring out because we have so many cards, you know, that of level three monsters that are easy to swarm the field and bring these cards out. So it's probably not going to be too hard anyway. Uh, but yeah, it has a nice negation effect. And also you're gaining defense, so it'd be a good way to protect yourself from your opponent's monsters that have a uh, high attack. Because, you know, you could easily, just by negating one effect, get to 3,000 uh, defense all the way up to uh, 4,000 defense. Whenever you, you know, if you used all three materials and did that. So yeah, uh, but remember, of course, this is the anime effect. So that's what I'm wondering what would probably change with this. Uh, of course, the first part of the effect where only number cards can destroy it, we can already automatically say that that's not going to be part of the actual printed cards effect. I mean, you know, that's always what they cut off there, you know, because in the anime, of course, that's the way it is on there. Uh, in some ways, though, I kind of wish that's the way they all were anyway. But <laughs> anyway, without getting sidetracked. Uh, yeah, I, this effect does seem pretty good, though. I mean, like, I don't think it would really get tampered with too much. It doesn't seem too overpowered, in my opinion. And, uh, especially, you know, since it's just raising the defense, you know, instead of, like, and now if it was one of the things where it was reversed and, uh, raising its attack and get, like, 4,000 attack that you see, then I, it, I could see it getting hit more, you know, where getting a little bit nerfed, actually, you know, when it's actually printed. Uh, but so far, I think this card's awesome. I can't wait to add it to Numbers Collection. I mean, we can pretty much assume this card can be printed. I mean, come on, Konami. That would be just an awfully mean move for them not to print a number card. Because that, you know, think about it. You have all, uh, over, I don't know, 107 number cards, and you're missing one. Now, that would be really sad. But yeah, tell me what you guys think about this card. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, we'll hear about a print of this really soon. And maybe it'll be out in the next set after Shadow Spectres. We'll just have to wait and see. As always, thank you for watching. We'll have another video on this once we actually have the, uh, effect, you know, when it's actually announced for print, that it's going to get printed and have the effect of that, hopefully it will be uh, just as good, and uh, we'll have a video on that as well. Alright, so yeah, thank you for watching, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and if there's any other cards you want me to talk about, whether it be from the anime, or, you know, even any recently announced cards, because there's been a lot of them lately, uh, just tell me in the comments, and we'll try to talk about them as soon as possible. Alright, later guys.